Here we are at another day, fishing another way down here in sunny South Florida. Life is good because I got my coffee. Yesterday was amazing. Oh, got it! It's on top water. Dang, dude. Oh, God, please. Today we're going to be doing something different, though. Going after big snook. My biggest snook right now, I want to say is 37 inches long. A 40 is a major, major trophy, so that's what we're going to be going after today. Captain is about to come pick us up, and hopefully we're going to get on some giant snooks before the day is done. Do you have any waters in here? Water? Yeah? You got like a couple of waters maybe? I, I didn't bring any water. I brought a gallon. Oh, a gallon? And I, and oh, okay. I, chugged. I got two smart water. You I brought a gallon of water and I just mugged oh, it. Yeah. Try a little bit of the I'll do a team effort on hydration. Yes. How about that? Let's team not effort not on problem. hydration. We're, we're going to make desert, it. Not a problem. Well, uh, don't ever come to South Florida and forget water. There's not a whole lot of fresh water out here in the ocean. Is there, big Bridge is doing big things back here in the background. Now this is what we're dealing with right here today. We got a lot of big rods. We're not really going for small snook today. These are large snook. We're going to be fishing giants as Black Tip H would say. Black Tip doesn't play around with those small snook anymore. He's caught so many. I would love to play around with small ones all day, but hey, if I got the opportunity to catch a giant, I'm going to do it. Anchor. Ready on the anchor. Ease it on in over the right side, please. There we go, Rob. Beautifully done. Yep. Rob, you did well right there. You look like a seaman. I am a seaman. All right, we're going to keep it locked up. Yeah. Do what the captain says. Oh. Oh. Don't forget, don't set the hook. I was, <laughs> I was just a pull. It was just no, a pull. No, no, you can't. Remember, reel it tight, slowly raise up. Okay. Like, circles are Got one, Justin? Got him. Got a snook. Came up. Got him. Is that tarp? It's little, whatever it is. Maybe a, a cuda? I don't know. It's strange. He came back twice. You got first fish on. Justin hooked up. There you go. Is that a tarpon? It is a tarpon. Dude. dude. Oh my gosh. This is my first tarpon. tarpon this is my first tarpon ever. Oh my gosh, Oh. Holy. Dude. Oh. Oh. Dude. <laughs> no, I've never caught a tarpon before. This is seriously. Oh, this, this is, is, it, this, this is a big moment. talking about it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> this, is, this is this is a bucket list fish. I know it's small, but it's I've never caught a tarpon before. Look at this little tarpon. This is awesome. There was no no hook set whatsoever. Just a straight reel and pull. This is gonna be great. You think he's ready? Whoa! Look at that. Probably the smallest tarpon I've ever seen in my life. Shut up, Rob. <laughs> Rob's trying to ruin my moment over here. Hey, ready? Ready. Oh, yeah, baby! Woo! That's cool. Can I lip him? Yeah, or is he too strong? Right there. Awesome. Grab the, the lipper. I got the wide angle lens on here. Yeah, grab that lipper. All right, Casey, get a shot. Cool. Awesome. First tarpon, man. Ready to let him go? Let's let's let him go, man. Woo! See you, buddy. Have a good day. First tarpon ever, baby. I got a little upgrading to do, I think, in my life. But that was the first one. That's a good one to Pretty start excited. with, dude. No fish is bad. All tarpon are good. All tarpon are good because you know what? They're not easy to get in. They jump off a hook a lot of times. You got the perfect hook set. Everything went perfect. perfect with that fish. We got some manatees getting their thing on over here. Right in our snook spot. Other than manatees, we also have some, some humans back here Mating? also getting it on. So we're in a really good reproductive area down here. Something in the water. Oh, it's a giant, guys! Is it the it's first an one? Absolute giant! Oh, it's a. Oh my gosh, Oh, beautiful! Look, look, this is the yellow tail, hard tail snook, guys. Unbelievable! As you can see, they got a yellow tail like a snook, and they have similar colors to a snook, but they aren't a snook people. We're in those times right now. This water is so clear. I can see straight to the bottom and we're in eight feet, eight feet right now. I could see every little sand dollar down there and uh, the snook are here, but uh, we're taking a break. The need is just, they just bite so much better, don't they? But that's a totally different chapter in a book right there. Yeah. I mean, if you're talking about like comparing snooks to and bonitas and chapters in a book, like bonitas, would probably be a very, like you couldn't put it down. Oh, got it! It'd be like a book you couldn't put down. 
or a chapter, and then uh, Snooks would be like, you read one page and then fall asleep. But um, maybe something good happens at the end. That's, that's a terrible analogy. I'm just trying to read books and be a smarter person. I'm trying to increase my brain size since it's limited right now. And Rob is now wearing sandals and got one of the worst flip flop hands I've seen all year. Like that's Amazing. That looks like um, that looks like tomato paste with like a couple of noodles on it. Dude, look behind you, bro. Look behind oh, you. Oh, look at him. Look at him go. Oh my gosh, what a giant. Dude. They sit so still, they look like logs. <laughs> look, there's a uh, there's a hedgehog sitting in the water. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's man. a hedgehog. Outlaw, where you at? Cash, cash money. Whatever fishing freak out there, I'm just kidding. By the time you watch this, we'll already have accomplished, accomplished the mission. We're gonna have somebody come out here and get us some water because we're a bunch of Googans that didn't bring water on the boat today and we're dying. Well, I brought water. <laughs> Anyway, this money is for some very special individual that's going to bring us some water and might water. save our lives out here. So, water. thank you very much. And, um... I butt you, I'm sorry. I kind of wish it was beer. The water is changing color now. This is the moment we've been waiting for. We've been sitting out here for hours. This is how snook fishing, in my experience, has worked. You gotta wait, wait, wait till a tide changes, till water changes, till bait comes in or something. Something that's gonna trigger those fish to start biting because they're a lot like bass. They sit on the bottom, they kind of just hang out there and if they don't want to bite, they're not going to. So they need a little change in their life. Hopefully this water change is going to make it happen. We're looking at about 100 yards out here. That water is crystal clear and it's been creeping its way towards here. So in about another 10 to 20 minutes when that water gets right here, that's when we ought to be getting crushed. We Thank you so much. Bait man. You just you just saved our lives. Shout out to the bait man. There you go, the bait man, there he goes. The bait man down here in South Florida. Did I tell you what was I tell you with the bait? That, that, that man sells a lot of bait, I can here. promise you. Well, I'll tell you what, he, I think he's making more money today on water I think and he on is. beer than on bait. We just paid him hundred dollars for water, so I don't even want to know what his rate is for bait. But when I think of the bait man, I think about like an old crusty boat pulling up with like crab growing off of it and all that kind of stuff. That man just pulled up in a probably a $80,000 boat and uh, just made some coin. But you know what? We're really thirsty. We're happy to pay him for that water. I mean, like, do you don't think, I mean, look at that thing. That's absolutely an ocean spoon girl. Not a not, That's an ocean spoon girl nightmare right there, guys. Look at that meat. It's delicious. Dude, that meat has been produced in a factory in China and shipped over here. It's okay. It lasts for stuff, 10 years. It's the same stuff we use as, like, that's my lure type meat right there. <laughs> you know, that's like, man, that's a Senko. You're this eating is Charlie's a, catfish blood. Are you guys ready in case? Mm. No, I'm, I'm ready 110. Rob's like, ready. Back Rob's here. You see this? Ready. You see this? This Rob's is, ready. I'm ready. I'm going to okay. jump on one of these, these things. Right. No, no, I, the rod tip down. <laughs> I wish I was Engage it. Is he still on there? Do you feel yep, it? Yep, 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 yep. Raise up. Raise up. There we go. There we go. Snook on, baby. Oh, yeah. Woo, baby. Oh, I don't want him to get in my structure. Oh, yeah. Good snook. That's a great snook, Justin. Nice. That's a great snook. Look at that. Look at that big boy. Dude, that's what you came here for, right? Woo. Oh, my gosh. Where's the net at? Can you pass that net, Justin? Here, I got it, I got it. Here, I got it, I got it, I got it. Here we go, bring him over here. Oh yeah, guys, look at this big snook, baby! As soon as that water started changing, boom! Oh, watch the ankle out, watch the ankle I know, I know, I know. I got him, I got him coming, you ready? You ready, Josh? Yeah, hold on, hold on, bring his head over here. Look at that big boy. Woo! This fish might be 40. Oh man, it's a blue runner. <laughs> that is no blue runner, Cliff. That's a good one. Oh, he's one eye. He's got one eye. He's got one eye? That's why I caught him. Okay, ready? Oh, he's way, he's over the cooler, so we won't know. He is, he's at least 35, 36 That's inches. a nice fish, though. Look, look at this, one eye, guys. He's missing an eye. How Someone, many inches, Josh? Uh, he's, he's, he's pretty decent. Here, Justin, you want to release him? Yeah, we'll release him. Beautiful fish, dude. All right. I think he's ready. He's almost ready. Starting to kick. Starting to kick. There he goes. Nice one, dude. Oh, yeah. Look at that snook, man. Bro, that's how it's done, man. You handled that fish perfectly. Thank you. 
Guys, I am that so pumped to get that snook. Leave it, leave it, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Literally just waiting, 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 more waiting. And then, just like Cliff said, as soon as that water changed, we're going to get a bite. So we've got multiple bites now. Rob caught a giant shark, nurse shark. Next snook is going to him. So if we both get big snook today, that is a huge win. Plus, I already got a tarpon. I started the day off with that. So can't complain with the day. Today is awesome. And we got water now, so everything's good. Oh, come on, Snook! Oh, this is, this is, uh... There you go. I'll take him. I will snook. take this Snook right here. I will take him. That took like two seconds to get bit. I, I know, that was, that's the one that's been <laughs> been munched on for quite a long time. You were almost there, dude. Almost, almost my PB Snook. Well, how big is it? 25 and a half. Nice, dude. I'll take a 25 and a half inch Snook any day. Okay, brother. Boom! Oh, snook action, baby! Look at all the stuff the Me and Rob are both caught Snook now. Oh, who do you see Snook on there? Okay. Cannot, can't point down there, but there's a ton of snug down there. We'll make a ton. Revive him before you release him. Oh, he's pretty revived, huh? Yes. You good, dude? Oh. Guys, there's like a hundred snug right under the boat. We can't let everybody know. We there he goes. Snug off to the distance. We're okay. ready to go. Boom. Oh my gosh. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Rob's got one on the bass rod right now. Bass tackle again. Brought the phantom out the trap. He's gonna snook. flip him in the boat. Yeah, I can flip him. You only flip him. Might explode the rod, but we'll give it a shot. Ah, you're good. A little bass style. Bass style. Clear the oh, runway. Yeah. Clear the runway. Put. Nice. Snook on the boat. Beautiful snook. There we go on the bass tackle, ladies and gentlemen. Rob is happy. I love it when Rob's happy. It makes my day. I have a free lined bait now. This could get really interesting. And then we are going to pitch it. Right on the hole. Rob, nice cast. Oh yeah, baby, that is the juice. Oh, he just got munched. Oh, I got a fish. I got a fish. There we go. Oh, we got a fish, baby. Yep. Oh yeah. There we go. Hey Rob, Rob, wait for one to fall his snook up, dude. Yeah, Rob, we might get another here. I'm reeling him slow. Yeah, there is one blowing. He's waiting for the bait to fall out of his mouth. Look at that. Right. Oh, there's three more. Dude, that's a big one right here. That's a big one right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, pitch it in there, dude. Just pitch it right in there. Come here. Let him get let it go down. Let it go down. He's looking at it. He's looking at it. Come on, take it. Oh my gosh, if he takes it. Oh, he's oh, oh. Dude, that's a good one, Rob. That's gonna break your PB for sure. It's being finicky. That snook had every opportunity. Gosh, dude, they're so fickle. We almost had a double right there, guys. That was that was cool. Let this little guy go. There he goes. Snook on it. There's a snook on it. I can see him. Literally, I can see him. Oh, oh, he just got eaten at the surface. Got him. Got him. Yep. Got eaten at the surface. That's a good one. I think he's coming right at us. I watched him eat it. Not a giant, but it was fun. Oh, baby. Dude, I equate that to like a good jig flip on the post. A couple of pops. You love these fish, don't you? Boop. Oh, yeah. Dude, this is the closest thing you're going to get to bass in salt water. Look at that, right in the top of the lip. Perfect hook set. And I love, there's another thing I love about these. They're a little crazy when you grab them, but you can actually grab them by the face. And I love to sniff fish. Sniff him, dude. What's he smell like? success very similar to bass actually very similar that's why i love these things so awesome smooth tongue like bass too blast up here dude yeehaw baby take off there you go something's going on with that bilge there's a there's a lot of water back there i think we're taking on water we got the waters and then i think we started taking on water we're waiting on josh to catch a snow still he's got to catch one me and Rob freaking crushed it, killed it, got in, got it done. Now we're just kind of chilling here. We're waiting on Josh and he's he's just sitting in water, like waiting. He's wade fishing right now inside wait, of the wait, boat. Wait, 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 wait. That's the other thing. What's that? You want me to get that in? I got a snook on, guys. Hours. Another okay. blue runner. Let's Ten hours. Josh is finally hooked up. Look at the size of this fish. You're going to cry. Oh, it's a big snook, yeah. It's a large. Big snook for old Black Tip. We're waiting all day for that one. Oh, here goes no net. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. Don't lose him. Cliff. Yeah, boy. That's the fish, guys, I was looking for right there. 
That's a 40 inch fish right there for sure. Nice, nice. Josh is never really patient. He was very was patient, patient today. I was nice actually one. very pleasantly surprised. He ended up with a nice big Mondo baby. Hey, he's ready. He's ready. Look at him. He's popping. He's popping. Look at him. Oh, Whoa, there he goes. yeah. Trying to pull an anchor now. Uh, well, well, it's time to pull an anchor. Hey, it's time to pull the anchor and head on in. Oh my goodness, guys! Look at there's snook even here at the dock. Catfish, look at that big old snook down there. My goodness, this is just absolutely nuts, guys. Absolutely nuts. Look, I cannot believe how big the snook here. They're just chilling. But I gotta tell you, the guy we went out with today, Cliff, he was amazing. He's caught more snook in South Florida or Central Florida than anybody, apparently. And he's on giants all the time. Josh caught that giant 40 incher. He was he was acting like it was nothing. No big deal. So I'm probably gonna hit up Cliff next time I'm down here to try to get one over 40. Didn't quite get it today. I caught a lot of fish and I caught a tarpon, guys. A freaking tarpon. I've I have, that's the first tarpon I've ever hooked and the first tarpon I've ever caught. I am 100% on tarpon, even though it was a small fish. Oh What's that? With Cliff. Not there, you're not. This is a private dock. Well, we're, we're telling he ain't allowed to be here. Are, we, are we supposed to swim back? I don't know. That ain't my problem. It's a private dock. You want us to walk back? Some lady with a cigarette just came out here and told us we're not supposed to be on this dock for some reason. I don't know. Maybe because there's so many snook hanging around here she doesn't want to see them or catch them. I'm not really sure. This has been a problem in Florida, guys. I'm I never run into this problem when in Texas. I seem to fish a lot of places that are just straight up. I fish a lot of lakes. You know, you pay your boat ramp fee. You go out there. You really enjoy some great fishing. And you go home and there's no problems. Out here it seems to be a lot of drama, a lot of people sitting right on top of each other. I've never seen anything like it in my life. All right, we had to jump to another dock. But like I was saying, make sure to go check out Cliff down there in the description and my boys, Black Tip H and Lunkers. Always having a good time with them down here. And this has been an amazing, guys. Look at all the jacks right there. Look at all the jacks just swimming around. Florida's freaking nuts. I love being down here. And unfortunately, I got to head back tomorrow. Actually, I don't want to say unfortunately because Ocean Spring Girl would kill me. Unfortunately, the fishing is over. Fortunately, we're heading back to something great back at home. Fishing freaks, you never know what's going to happen when you're out on adventures. And we got a phone call from Rob at Deer Meat for Dinner. Uh, another awesome outdoorsman style channel and he was actually right down the road like 10 minutes from us where we were so we rolled over here to the ranch what's going on Rob Not too I, much. I just I just met him he, we, us outdoorsmen got to stick together that's right on YouTube so like gladiator exactly. together we survive yeah <laughs> and he's got an awesome place here how, how many acres you got I got 3,000 acres here and then we're about two miles from the beach so it's really cool it's Dude, like our home <laughs> I can't imagine. Can you guys imagine having that? That's like the perfect situation. You got you got the best situation of fishing plus hunting out here. Yeah. Hey, Except you got mosquitoes like crazy, probably. Oh my goodness, guys! There's so many four wheeler type. It looks like transformers just landed on this ranch. This makes me want to move to Florida. I mean, me and Rob just hit like Florida heaven. I was until today. I was honestly thinking Florida fishing's amazing, but back in Texas we got way other like we got woods we got honey we got all sorts of stuff look at what we got freaking crazy we got no there's another zero inch something else apparently. oh oh hey here's another megatron over here and a giant rv that's camoed how the heck do you get in this thing this literally looks like if there was a zombie apocalypse we could just hop in this thing and just roll dude just straight up ram them with this and just start firing away up top needs a 50 cal maybe We are at a shooting range now, and uh... Hey Justin, how do you think this wow. day has progressed, dude? <laughs> this is <laughs> really not doing Rob and, and uh, deer meat for dinner justice here at this place. Um, we've seen about 20% of his ranch, and uh, you guys aren't really getting the full effect, yeah. but this is pretty incredible. Rob, work. Rob's, Rob's in happy land because we're, we got steel targets. LFG Lunkers Funland is what this is. This is crazy. Rob, this is literally like our version of Disneyland. This is our Disneyland. This is heavy. I love it. Now, you guys have never seen the lost footage of Josh Jorgensen shooting a gun for the first time. 
and I'm not sure the internet is really ready for it, but we're going to get a second opportunity right here. Oh You're my gosh, I've never <laughs> fired a rifle before, guys. I never even... Mean, look at the bullets, they're huge, man. <laughs> <laughs> you hit it. Got her. You hit it. He did it! <laughs> 200. Where's the 500? Let's do that next. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> At least you know now he can actually shoot a gun. Now, even though I've just met Rob, I already know I'm going to get along with him really well. I want you guys to let me know in the comments. Do I need to come out here again? I think we're going to have a lot of yeses here. And I'm actually going to link uh, Rob's channel, uh, Deer Meat for Dinner, down in the description, as well as the other guys, so you can check them out. And there's one guy I'm actually missing right now that I know would love to be here, and that is Outlaw. My boy Outlaw, I'm actually wearing his shirt right now, Surrender the Fishes while I'm down here in Florida. Make sure you go check him out and support him. YouTube actually just slapped him with a, uh, a big total demonetization of his channel. And he would absolutely love to be here right now. I know he would. So go support all of my friends. We, us outdoor guys have to stick together. It's just a small knit community. I know I've talked about that before, but make sure you go subscribe to all of these guys and check them out because the outdoor industry is awesome. It's kind of a weird ending to the day, but I'm really glad we came out here to this ranch. So I know this has kind of been a crazy ending to a fishing day, but oh my gosh, I just had a great time in Florida, but I can't wait to get back to Ocean Spoon Girl and Winston. So the next vlog you see is gonna be with those guys. And I love you guys. Thank you for supporting this channel. Make sure to go support my buddies and I will see you on the next one.